Hello everybody, today we are doing the one year anniversary housing event celebration for Clone Wars Adventures Emulator. There's not really a big turnout right now because, you know, Sunday everybody's kind of busy, but we are at Ralph's lot apparently. Uh, is this Ralph Gravity Razor I think his name is? Ralph Gravity Razor's lot? It's uh, actually a pretty nice looking lot. I don't do any building mainly because my ideas require certain items. So let's take a look here. Be sure to read the chat as we go along. Probably could uh, read through here. Oh, this is a hotel. Okay, this is interesting. Though the rooms seem to be empty, I don't see any bathrooms or any types of interesting additions yet. But then again, it's probably not completed. Oh, maybe these are the bathrooms. I don't know. Or, or uh, toilets or whatever you want to call them. It's um, very interesting to see, actually, because you don't really get too many of these uh, people building lots here. Alright, so I'm just kind of reading the chat a little bit over there in my head. I wonder what the best way to make a tombstone would be. Mm, that, that's an interesting idea. Oh, maybe you can make it out of rocks, Eowyn, because it seems that you love rocks, and rocks are your go-to building specialty, so I would definitely suggest making it out of rock somehow. Oh, okay, so it's multiple floors, this hotel. That's pretty interesting. Obviously, it's not done yet, but just doing the little tour here. Oh, there's a second floor too, of course. I didn't see the second floor. But I do like how there's a sky deck here. Let's take a look and uh, see. Okay, so it looks like you have to go in from the inside. I didn't notice that, so... Jump down we go. And uh, this actually works out the really well. And you can see all the people that are here. We have Eva Blood Knight, Snowman, Tinutano, Eolin, Mr. Hud, of course, Rough Gravity Razor himself, myself, uh, Tinutano is up there. Uh, I know there was one or two other people. I think Jory Vizsla was here too. I didn't get to see it because I was setting up my recording software. Okay, we got some more... Uh, looks like we got some more toilets over here too. This is interesting. I do like that there is some creativity here. I like the double bed. Uh, I think these are from the Corazon set too. It's actually kind of interesting how people do this. Too bad you can't activate these special effects on some of these things. Oh yeah, Blast Man Blast Guy is also here. Probably should really keep my eye on the chat to make sure that I'm getting all the names. Oh, okay, this is still the first floor, so... I'm just kind of taking a look at all the rooms, see if there's anything of interest. And the dance floor, I kind of want that DJ set back from the Jedi Living Quarters. That would be an interesting add-on for this. Oh, Wex Toxic Stinger is online. He's probably going to be, or she, will be joining us very soon. I'm not sure who they will teleport to, but... Oh, this was the second floor. Ha, ah, I was right. Thought I was wrong. I mean, it's actually pretty nice how this is made so far. I'm sure there's going to be more additions to it. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, there's... Oh, it looks like a little lunch area here, where you're, or a breakfast area, because most hotels that I've been to usually give you free breakfast. Unless you go to one of those five-star hotels, then you have to pay for that. And I'm not paying for five-star hotel prices. I've ever paid for three stars. Pretty nice overall. I'm, I'm not going to be running into every room, but... Maybe at a point when there's more furniture added, we'll see Ralph do some more additions to his furniture here. Oh look, we have some toilets that are being, uh, how you say, worked on still. Uh, let's see, I don't think there's much on the top floor. I think I was already there. Uh, anything in these two side rooms? Since I have a bad memory, I, I'll just see. Okay, they all looks like they're, they're just these like Corazon type beds. Well, well it's not Corazon bed, it's almost like a Chancellor bed in a way. Yep, it looks like these rooms are relatively the same, but I'll, I'll just take a quick peek in some of them. Oh, this one has a bit of a view. Must be getting 500 credits a night for those. And I do like these lights here. The red and white actually goes very well. Let's take a look. Uh, it's also a nice view out into what Ryloth. 
so we can do some exploration in Ryloth. Maybe if somebody builds our way out. Now, is there another level? I think I saw some spiraling stairs over here. I am going to see if there's anything of interest up here. Oh, yep, there, there is. I mean, these rooms are probably all about the same. But, you know, I'll still look at them. I do like the way that these are all placed in, the, in their own little methodical way. Let's, uh, see. Is there anything else around here that I need to look into? Okay, there's a lot of floors, actually. Oh, look at that. We've got red, green, and white. It would be interesting to see if th there are an introduction to elevators here. would be very cool. Uh, let's see. Yep, the rooms are pretty much all the same with the one bed. Gotta get some night lights or something. And once again, you get some good views from these big windows. They probably use that... Oh, what is it called? Oh, I thought there was something there. There Wasn't there some other type of thing where it was... You can make these items larger. I can't remember what's called, just the enlarge tool. Oh, see, there's your rear. I was correct. And if I remember correctly, he got the dot droid last event, which is pretty cool. Oh, hey, this is the party that everybody was talking about. Okay, this is interesting. Very large so far. I wonder if there's going to be additions to this hotel, and if I have to pay 5,000 credits a night, I'd rather not do that. Oh, I'm just noticing this light, or not this light, what am I saying? This window here. Definitely could use a DJ at a point when they add that in. That'd be pretty cool. And with Snowman asking if this is going to be a series of events, or series, or just events for... Huh? I think it's, these are just events. Because uh, every Saturday, or Sunday, I think it's every Sunday of this month, there's going to be an event for it. And hey, my birthday's this month, so... I'll be getting very old at the age of 26. And I wonder if it's just going to be this one entire house here. I'm going to take a look at the other place over here where I was because I didn't look at it fully. I was too busy looking at the first part of the hotel, which I probably missed parts. Hopefully I didn't, but if I did, my apologies. Let's go from top to bottom. Oh, nice. Lots of more interesting things here to show off. Yep, the, you know, the one-bedroom places, although th there needs to be some bathrooms added in, because, you know, whilst I tech hotel rooms do have bathrooms, but, you know, can't really be too creative with the limited amount of furniture that we have, but there's still enough. There's still a pretty decent amount of things here. And let's take a look here. More bathrooms? Or toilets, or whatever you want to call them? That's what I think they are. I'm not sure if they're just more sitting areas or not. And this almost looks like a, another eating area, like a little area where you snack on the food. And once again, more rooms. Only thing is you can't shut these doors yet. Maybe if those uh, jail cells with the... What are they called? Where you walk into them and they open. That'd be pretty interesting to see. Ooh, okay. I froze there for a second. Oh, that's actually a nicer view up here. And now you get a general overview of the area. Hopefully I don't crash, because some of these people are crashing. Alright, let's go back to the chat here. I wonder who's going to be the next lot. It's definitely not going to be my lot. I have four lots here, but I don't build in any of them. The only exception might be my Jedi living quarters, where I just threw a random mi mishmash of everything. Okay, let's see, can I jump over here? Let's see if I can make it. Oh! Okay. Well, that's interesting. I guess that was done on purpose, where you can actually do this. So, let's see how, if anybody even notices I'm up here. Alright, let's take a look here. I wonder... Can I fall off and go into... Uh, into the Ryloth glitch? Oh, you, yes you can. So that's how you get out of here. Well, <laughs> so that's how you get out of the lot. You just build up as high as you can, and then you just run off. Sounds about right. 
Now, can I just run back inside, like usual? I think I should be able to. Uh, the answer to that is no. So it looks like I'm gonna have to teleport. Okay, there we go. That's all fixed. Now let's go back over to the top area. Oh, and uh, Ralph just notices I was here. Yeah, I've been here, but uh, I just needed to teleport because I got out of the, the out of the Ryloth lot. I'll just tell him I was already here. All right, time to do our jumping up again. Actually, you know what? Let's just pause it here. I'll get back to the top. Ah, so he did end up answering my question. He said he would have built this taller if there was no height. But you know what? Now I know. If I just build high enough onto this lot, you can just run out of the lot. I always did the old push yourself out of the lot with a chair, like a starship chair, but that doesn't work in this, sad to say. And it looks like it's still the same people. Oh, Blastman's up there. Interesting. So let's actually go over... Oh, a million Celeron has logged on. I cannot say these names. Celeron. I, I cannot say these names, man. I may have a I may have, have a college degree, but I cannot pronounce names right. But I'm going to go back to floating in the middle of the air. A lot more fun. Uh, there's, they were talking about the maze, I guess, hut made. Yeah, which I did not do well in. Okay, let's see, can we go up all the way? I'm sure Emo's gonna be teleporting to somebody here, I don't know who. Ah, uh, so that's how that works. Interesting. So, I'm just gonna run around and climb up the area here. Yeah, as much as well welcome him. Welcome email. I almost said welcome Hemel. And now, I'm sure he's gonna make his way up here. But in the meantime, I'll just pause the recording, see if anything else interesting happens. Got ourselves a good joke here from Mr. Pizza Hut. How's the sky, man? To I'm gonna say totally radical. Got gotta be one of those stereotypical California surfers. Oh, there's e Emilion. Or e I say email because it's much easier to say. Now let's take a look. Is there anything of interest here where we can climb to? I wonder if you can climb out here pretty well. That's probably something I should test later on, but I'm not going to test that now. Uh, let's take a look. Is there anything of interest here? I have an idea to see if I ever get out of my own Ryloth lot, to see if you can just push yourself up these buildings, or if you can just use your mount. Maybe the mount's the easy way to do it. Okay, you know what? Uh, I'm going to probably try that right now. While everybody's hanging out over here, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to try the mount. I'm see if it works well or not. All right. Um. Okay. Well, I can get up here at least. And it looks like we have a small, albeit still fun time here. Doesn't really matter how many people get on, because, you know, Sundays, you know, people want to enjoy their weekends, because some of us work five or six days a week. Sometimes seven, depending on who we talk to. And now, let's see, uh, I'm gonna go exploring now. Alright, so here I am, on top of the one, high, one of the higher points. I can't run over here, sadly, because there's that invisible wall. Kind of sad, but... I'm very far away from the lot right now. Okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can go around, if possible. Doesn't look like that's going to be a possibility, but... Oh, there's a second lot. Okay, well, that's, that's good to know. Didn't know there was multiple lots. I thought it was just one lot per event, but you know what? This is fine, too. Alright, so we'll pause here and we'll go to the second lot. Alright, so here it is. The Sith Academy lot. Who, who is it, though? Whose lot is it? I don't know. 
But uh, another one, once again, looks very nice. And they did a pretty good job of trying to incorporate it in a way that works for this lot. It's a huge lot, but the problem is there's not really a lot of Sith stuff that you can incorporate on here yet. I'm sure, like, the Starship stuff might incorporate well. Looks like we have ourselves a little bit of a luncheon area here. Let's take a look around, shall we? It is creative, though. I do like how they put all these random boxes around, like it's almost like one of those stations where it's a bunch of storage. And now, let's see here. I'm going to see... Can, can we get in here? I'm sure there's got, there's got to be a way to get up, right? Yeah, there's there's got to be a way to get inside, right? Got to use the mounts? Nope, can't get inside. Shame. And it was worth a try. Eh, well, anyways. Looks like these could just be big jail cells of some sort. I don't know what they are exactly. Oh, uh, they are cells, right? Oh, see, I was smart enough to know that they were cells. But we need some prisoners in here. If House gets his uh, get released, that would be a very, very good thing. I mean, Sith Academy lot is actually a good place for a jail too, because you know, just fits the vibe. Oh, Eva's gotta go. Okay, that's sad. Uh, let's see. It looks like it's just a bunch of jail cells, but you know what? It's still creative. Once uh, house guests get introduced, this will be a very interesting area to explore. And it looks like there's a second floor. Oh, more jail cells. Wonderful. Wunderbar. Uh, yeah, I just wish there were more... Uh, you know, house guests at this point. I wonder what the uh, prisoners would be. Probably a bunch of Jawas and uh, Gungans, because nobody likes Jawas or Gungans. Gotta say, though, it's a very well designed a lot because you have to really put in the like the what is it called? I forget what it's called now. You have to really measure it out to have everything placed just the right way. And it looks like this could be a, a control center of some sort. Oh, there goes Ralph. And now let's take a look here. Oh, okay, so it's there's not really much to the lot, as you know. It's a it's a large lot, but you can only do so much with it. It's still a pretty good one. I think this is my favorite one so far. Even yes, I know it's only the second one, but there's a third one. We'll take a look at it. And, and so I'm just asking a, a little question here, just saying, will there be a third lot? There's not a third one. There will only be these two. But next week, according to Mr. Hutt, there's only one for next week. So maybe it varies f for each week. Maybe it's two this week, one the next, two next week, one the next. Or, I don't know, maybe it's two, one, three, five. I, I, I have no clue. And since I don't build, we're not going to my lots, because my lots don't have anything in them. Well, like I said, I live in quarters, it's just a mishmash of everything. Alright, so let's take a look here and see if there's anything else interesting around here. I mean, this is still very creative. I, I really do like this. Now, I wonder, can you build to the top here and then just glitch out? That might be an idea for my spare time on here when I'm not doing my credit grinding, because as you see, the road to 18 million credits has begun. I have two weeks to get to 18 million, because I usually grind 500k a week. And what do I do with that? I usually do mine bl buster or I do blaster training. I almost said bluster. Alright, good old Wex over here It has his Darksaber out, and it looks like he's using the Force Glow. Is that what it is? Yeah, the Force Glow. And I, was, I made a joke up here saying, saying, if you want more people to come on, then give them an SC code reward. But SC codes, that doesn't exist anymore. SC is not on this game anymore, it's only credits. I don't even know why this is on here, this remove hollow protector thing. No, no clue. Alright, now we are all testing out the lightsabers here, because apparently Mr. Hutt uh, thinks the lightsabers look better in, in the Sith Academy lot. And you know what? I can kind of see why. 
Everybody's got a different type of lightsaber that they're using. Alright, let's try the double-sided lightsabers. They're kind of actually my favorite ones. Probably just the lighting that makes it look really good, I would say. Now I wonder, is there the double-sided red one? I think I passed the double-sided red lightsaber. Yeah, I'm just like looking all the, at all the guns I have. Oh yeah, that, that looks better. And you know, if you, if you actually cl click it a lot, if you click the equip button a lot, you can just spam it. Doesn't that sound very nice? Doesn't it just sound so satisfying to your ears? I wonder, does purple lights ever look good here? That yeah, doesn't look too bad. Ooh. You know what? I'm kind of liking the the, uh, do the doggy lightsaber in this lighting. It actually looks pretty cool. I didn't think I would uh, like it too much, but it actually looks very interesting close up. I can't believe I actually got it to zoom pretty well there too. I don't know, something about the blue coloring and it being all broken looking makes it look a, a lot better. Okay, so I decided to change lightsabers and check out this, e uh, I think it's Ermi or Ermi Jedi lightsaber. It's got a very interesting looking effect to it. It almost looks like it's burning in a way, like you overcook something. Gordon Ramsay would not like this. Not one bit. But I mean, it actually looks pretty good overall. I'm sure this event's going to be coming to an end in the next 10-15 minutes, so I will tell you when it ends, because we're just kind of standing here talking around. Oh well, what do you know? There it is. It just said, alright, thanks for coming. Yeah, of course. It was fun. I had a fun time here. And it gives you something to do if you don't have much to do on a Sunday. I mean, I work six days a week, so I kind of need to keep up on my credit grinding on here. And now, I wonder, is there another interesting lightsaber that we could use? Nope. Nope. Oh, that's the same one. Uh, Kyle Katarn? No. Oh, yeah, I mean, Chancellor Palpatine or Dorsidius' lightsaber looks pretty neat. Ferris Offy, Saj Ventress, Shakti. Yeah, Plo Koon with the orange is good. Oh, so she's ten? No. Oh, okay, well. And, let's see, yeah, Ralph says, I guess his lots aren't the best, but there's still something. Uh, look, it's already something a majority of us don't do. Some of us just don't build at all, and I would say Ralph's lots are actually pretty good, even though I've only seen, I think, two of them. Alright, so, the event's pretty much done now, it's just a few people left, so I'll end the video here. And now, let's just take a look at one last thing here. I just wanted to actually do do the, do the funny little thing that you can do with, with the uh, mounts here. I wonder... Okay, good, you can't hear anything. <laughs> Alright, so, on that note, this... W oh, whoa, how come my gun's on here? That's interesting, I haven't seen that before. Well, uh, thank you all for, wa for watching this video, and uh, goodbye.